upset. What happened? We're standing one minute and then flop onto ground. What? You're overreacting, don't you think? I'm just exhausted. That's all. You've been pushing yourself too hard. Workload's pretty intense right now. I've got to do my part to keep the colony running. Is it really that bad? We used to get support based on how well the Levna Squadrons performed in battle. The castle provided for us. So now we have to work like a mudder to make up the shortfall. Why didn't you tell me? Didn't think I needed to. I thought I could manage well enough by myself. Now that stink of untruth. You set working hard for Valdi. Did not want sympathy vote. Hey! You set want to act dependable to get on good side of Valdi. Tried hard not to show weakness. Is that true? What does it matter? Fact is, I can't be lying down on the job. Look, we get that you're under a lot of pressure. What is it that needs doing, anyhow? Dispatching of Levnesses to Colony Lambda. To Lambda? So you're lending out Kavesi Levnesses to Agnes? That's right. Even after they've served their purpose in battle, the Levnesses themselves can still function. I wanted to get as much use out of them as I could. So he say. But now look at sorry state of him. Where Papa also been showing you that ropes as little side project. Oh, you were teaching me. Let me help. I'd love to. Come on. Give me a job to do. Huh? Uh, well, if you're asking, how about handling the Levna shipment I was talking about? Once you get them there, it's just a matter of delivering them to the commander. Sure thing. I can do that. Incidentally, what need does Commander Izzard have with Kavesi Levnesses? I'm not 100% on the details, but he wants them for some kind of survey. Levnesses to scout something out. I wonder what's going on at Lambda. No point speculating when we can just check it out ourselves. Right? Right. Be thorough, yeah? Oh, but, uh, don't push it too hard. Oh, we'll be fine. You just take a lie down and make sure you're all rested up. So then, off to Colony Lambda we go. Colony relations change, looks like. Colony relations change, looks like. Commander Izzard, right? We're here with the Levnus, as you ordered. I appreciate how readily you accepted our request. Thank you. But I must say, I hadn't expected you to deliver them in person, Commander. Yeah, sorry about that. We had to improvise. Ah, oh, you know how to operate them, right? Our guys normally do the piloting. We've hired pilots for that very reason. Though, we wouldn't mind getting some pointers. Oh, that's great. Our pilots have been wanting to chat with you too. Anything you need to know, just ask. Glad to hear it. Commander Izzard, I hear you're using the Levnesses for some sort of survey. Care to divulge? Yes, uh, about that. We've observed recently that our water sources around the colony are being rapidly depleted. So you're using them to investigate? No. In fact, the survey branch has already identified the cause. It's the Ansels living at the top of the Great Falls. Ansels? But their natural habitat should be the Urion Mountains. Indeed. And their presence here has been affecting the flora. We're particularly concerned about their laying waste to the cure grass we use to treat our troops. That's an issue, all right. So you want to take those overgrown feather brains out of the picture? That it? Which is why you need powerful evnesses. You're looking a bit worse for wear there, is he? You been running yourself ragged too? Two? My lieutenant's also been burning himself out. Oh. Noah? 
We'll help you out too. I appreciate the offer, but I think... You underestimate this job, and you're going to collapse from overexertion too. Better to share the loan, no? It'll make life easier. Valdi's really worried about him. Could be a nice little excursion. No one's gonna complain. All right then, if it's no trouble. We'll have this issue sorted in no time flat with you on board. Easy peasy. Just let us out. I look forward to this, Commander Valdi. Ansel's recited a bit further up, right? That's right. There are skeeter nests around here as well. We should take care. Wait, is that... Okay, well, we doing this? Is this? He's been giving Izzard so much trouble. I'm in front. I know I am. Ah! Across the enemy! You're dealing with me, like that before. That looks like them all. They won't be tearing up the cure grass any longer. I hope that now. Their fighting days are finally over. Baldi, pleased to look. Such pretty, pretty flowers. Oh, wow. But it's such a tiny patch of them. Huh. You think those ants have got them or something? No, those flowers are from the Urayan Mountains. And they don't normally grow in this region. Well, how then? Maybe it's just as Uni said. Maybe the ants carried the seeds and they ended up here. That's nuts. They probably had the seeds stuck in their feathers. And they just happened to land here. Still, of all the places they could have bloomed. It's just random chance, Uni. Not like they grew here on purpose. Only questions whether they make it. <gasps> they did choose. They chose to bloom up here. They never gave up. They're just like me. This world, it lives and breathes, just like me. Happy Revelation? Yeah, it's awesome. I never thought we'd be able to find a serious anemone here. You look pretty pleased, Tyon. Make us a cover then.
I see it went well. We've already received your report. About the Ansel's impact on the environment. It's all good. Our survey branch will be monitoring the situation carefully. Then how about we leave the Levnesses here? Could you give us an update if you happen to find out anything new? You feeling okay there, Valdi? You sound like you're interested in something that's not a Levness. Oh, come on. They're adapting to their environment by themselves. It's such an amazing phenomenon. How could I possibly pass it up? Ha, ah, how indeed. The most feared mechanic in Kevis. So wide-eyed and innocent. Huh? Up until we met in person, I pictured you as a cold, ruthless commander who would stop at nothing to achieve victory. That's the Colony 30 Consul's fault. Yeah. Valdi himself's got nothing but levness on the brain. Hey, that's me. Well, perhaps you're right. I've been blindly sending Levnesses to their destruction. But you're only looking at one aspect of the whole. Aren't you furthering a large-scale project for a new model? I hear it's a type of Levness designed for a wholly different purpose. Huh? How'd you hear about that? The survey branch has eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, look at me and the fancy spy network I used to work for. You're talking about Doric? He's my friend. When he's finished, you've got to come visit. I believe I will. I look forward to building a lasting friendship with Colony 30. I'd be happy to accept your assistance in the future. Great. I can't wait. Good news all round, huh? Phew! Now I'm friends with Izzard. Yuzette has so got to hear about this. <laughs> well then, let's not keep him waiting. Back to Colony 30. Something smells tasty. I'm back! Hey, you taking it easy now? Yeah. You were gone for some time. It wasn't just a quick there and back. Yeah, one thing led to another. Sorry to butt in. Yuzette, the Noppon are in a real tizzy. Won't stop moaning about the lack of Levnite. Oh, they've finally gone and used it up. Is it important? It's an ore we use for Levinous maintenance. Tune them up with it and they're gliding like they're on ice. We're already negotiating with Colony Ford to get us some of theirs. I, uh, don't suppose you could try to smooth things over with the crew, just for the time being. Oof. Well, I'll see what I can do. You, Zed, you know that transmission we received earlier? Well, there's a problem. How much is this guy juggling? There's not much point in him trying to recuperate here when he keeps getting pestered like this. What? What do you mean? You can't erase a shipment? Ah, oh, I wasn't privy to the details. All I know is that some guy called Solon from Colony 4 told us to tell you. Hey, Noah. I know what you're thinking. Let's take this to Colony 4. Let's! Colony relations change, looks like. What? What's going on in Colony 4, exactly? What's going on in Colony 4, exactly? Let's go to Solon and the supply team. Something smells tasty. Hmm. These are not good tidings, especially when we're so swamped. 
Excuse me, are you so long? Hmm? Oh, yes. How may I help you? I'm here about the Levnite shipment to Colony 30. I was told that you couldn't send it, and I was hoping to find out why. Did you run into an issue? Well, we sent some of our compeers to Dana Desert, but we haven't heard from them since. I can't exactly leave my post, so I was deliberating as to how we should proceed. You said the desert, right? Anywhere in particular? The richest Levnite veins can be found by a landmark known as Glamrock, so you might try there. That seems like enough to go on, right? We'll head out there to look for them. You... you do this. We can't just ignore someone in need. And besides, we need to get our hands on that Levnite. Well then, thank you very much. I hope to hear good news from you. So their friends... ...didn't return? That sounds kind of worrying. So their friends didn't return? That sounds kind of worrying. We'd better go find them, quick! Let's rush them down. Fine by me. Are you all right? Yes, thank you. You saved our skins. Never seen monsters like that before. They really caught us off guard. Yeah, it's weird that those monsters were there. One would usually expect them to reside in their natural habitat, above the Great Cot Falls. So they decide to move house? This isn't walking distance we're talking here. They'd have had to have migrated from their old territory. After what happened to those mountains, the Ansels must have tried to take shelter beneath the Great Falls. I'll bet that's what pushed these guys out. And then they moseyed on over here to the desert. Our squad leader just gave us an update. You're here to pick up the Levnite. If you want, we can just give it to you here. Saves you a trip back to Colony 4, right? You sure? Well, thanks. This will at least take one thing off you, Zet's play. See? I can get things done when I put my mind to it. See? I can get things done when I put my mind to it. We're done with the Levnite issue, too. Back to Colony 30, then? Hey, Commander. Good to see you back. Hey, Zusa. This little buddy's the Levness we lent Izzard, isn't it? Doesn't he want it anymore? To thank us for your offer of cooperation with Colony Lambda, they've sent us a fair bit of supplies and food. Wow! All this? I'll need to thank him a bunch. Ah, Commander, there you are. Guess what? Colony 4 just approached us with a deal to receive regular shipments of Levnite from them. What? 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 I'll head down the docks and tell everyone. And just like that, it would appear that the bond between our respective colonies has been restored. Nice one. Huh? 
He hasn't even realized, has he? Come on, man! You brought everyone together, Valdi. I... I did? It's really quite amazing. Even though you're all doing different things. You help each other out in all sorts of different ways. That's right. And when there's something missing, it always has a knock-on impact somewhere else. Sometimes you don't notice something's awry until after that effect has manifested itself. Ah. You know, the world's kind of like a levis, isn't it? It's like a mesh of so many different parts, all interconnected. And because it's made up of all these different things and people, it moves. It's alive. So then, Valdi and Manana are also belong to parts of the world? Not just us. My buddies here are too. Not just some tools to be used, eh? Right, they're not. I'm just reaching for ideas right now. But hey, I'm a mechanic. And if the world's like a levinous, then I sure a spark should be able to fix it. I'll make a new tomorrow, where we can all live in harmony. Ambitious goal for Grease Monkey. But willing to keep on radar, with much giving of side-eye. I'll take that as a compliment. It was not compliment. Well, I believe in you, mate. Your Kevis is number one mechanic, after all. You can't argue with that. <laughs> Shucks. Okay, then. Let's report into to use that, shall we? Colony relations change, looks like. Lying down. Nah, I'm feeling way better. I'm not just putting on a brave face for you guys, okay? I'm not. Uh huh. All right. If you say so. Thanks for always getting us out of trouble, Yuzette. Wh where'd this come from? Turns out this guy's actually more thoughtful than you give him credit for. Thoughtful? From now on, I'm helping you with your chores. So let's both do the best we can, and make some of the finest levenesses the world has ever seen. Sure, count on it. Uh, as if, over my dead body. Huh? If I trust you with anything, things are gonna get way out of hand. You just casually go and extend the leases on levenous rentals. You plain give away the materials that we cracked down on after we caught those guys illegally hoarding. Every time you give a report, my blood runs cold. Think about how I feel trying to manage this stuff. Ah, uh, right. Um, sorry. Still, I'm glad to see you're feeling well enough to give me a telling off like that. Glad, but I'm seething with rage here. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. So, uh, I guess none of this really sorted out Yuzette's workload problem, did it? Yeah, I guess not. Huh. But maybe this is a good way for them to mesh in the end. Maybe it is. Remember what Issa told us? That you can't just look at one aspect of the whole. I think that's how it is with Colony 30. 